In this video, let us try to understand the concept of prying action. See, for example, uh, let us take an example to understand the prying action. So here, this is a T section. So that is being connected to a plate like this with the bolts. Two bolts are here. And some tension force is being applied. Let us uh, assume it as two times T. That two times the tension force is being shared equally by these two bolts as two T and T. Due to this tension action, so there is a possibility of the bending of beam like this. And that is imposing additional tension like this. So see the, these are the bolts. So all, all already they are facing some tension and due to this edges are pushing it down both sides. So that's the additional tension is being faced by these bolts. So which is known as Q prying action, prying force. So the total force on the bolt will be the tension already it is being shared plus the prying action, which is the additional tension force developed due to the edges. Here, the additional tensile force is developed due to flexibility of the connected plates. So here we will be having both bolts are experiencing this kind of tension. So here this is mentioned in page number 77 uh, in clause 10.4.7 of IS 800. Here prime force is given by this expression. Q is LV by 2 times LE into TE minus beta eta F naught BE T power 4 by 27 LE LV square. So finding these all parameters, we can easily find out the prying force. So understand all these parameters. LV is the distance from the bolt center line to the toe of the pilot weld. So for example, uh, we are saying this is a T section, right? And let us come see this is the weld, fillet weld. This is a fillet weld. These two are connected by the fillet weld. So if you consider, this is LV. So that is T is from toe of the fillet weld to the center line of the bolt that is LV and also it is mentioned or to the half root half of the root radius of the rolled section. So for example uh, this T section is a rolled section rolled section. So for example it is like this so that will be having a radius. Plates are connected like this. So this is the bolt. So this will be having the radius. Now the LV will be half of the radius distance to the center of the bolt. That will that will be LV. So LE is a distance between the prime force and the bolt center line, and it's a maximum of sorry minimum of either end distance or the value given by this. So it is given by an expression, and that has to be compared with the end distance E. So where, whichever is less, we have to consider it as LV. And that is taking part in finding the prime force. And we will be also having the beta as a constant 2. And that is the uh, predetermined constant. Okay, that is value is 2 for non pretension bolt and 1 is for pretension bolt. Eta is 1.5, the value is directly given. B is the effective width of the flange. So if you see, imagine that is width of the flange that's it f naught is a proof stress uh, in consistent units and it is mentioned in core book page number 78 i will show you here it is proof stress 0 0.7 times f u b that is the ultimate tensile strength of the fold let me write it here that is equal to 0 0.7 times F U B. T is the thickness of the end plate. So in order to understand it clearly, let us see an example. See the question. The joint shown in the figure has to carry a, a factor load of 180 kilo newton. The end plates of grade F T 410 are used uh, and sizes 160 mm by 140 mm by 16 mm. The bolts used are M20HSFG uh, bolts of grade 8.8. .8. Let us check whether the design is safe or not. So uh, let us write the data given. Uh, here is the load 2 times T is given as 
180 kilonewton. So here this is 2 times T E is given as 180 kilonewton that is being shared by these two bolts. So T E one for one bolt this is 180 by 2 that is 90 kilonewton. So let me write it as 90,000 newton. T E is 90,000 newton. And what else is given? The end plates of grade F U 410 are used. Uh, and the bolts of grade M20, M20 grade F, uh, HF, FG bolts. M20 HSFG, that is high strength friction grip bolts. Grade is 8.8. .8. So let us, so diameter is clearly 20 mm and here from, for grade 8.8 .8, what would be the 10 centimeters? So let us go to the code book again uh, and page number 14. Page number 13. So uh, see here I have 1367 part 3 for 8.8 .8 grade. Here diameter is more than 16 mm. So ultimate tensile strength would be 830 Newton per mm square or mega Pascal. So you can write it as FUB as 830 Newton per mm square. And for this bolts, uh, and for this plates, grade plates of grade FE410 are used. So for FE410, so let us go back to the code book page number 14. Here IS2062. E250 FU410 if you take class A the ultimate tensile strength is 410 so FU would be 410 Newton per mm square and FY FY is yield stress diameter 20 to 40 we have diameter 20 so that would be 240 so FY is 114 newton per mm square. So that is all the data given. Uh, we have to compare, uh, we have to check whether the design is safe or not. For the design to be safe, the applied tension should be less than the tension capacity of the bolt or the tension capacity of the bolt. Should be greater than the applied tension. Then we can say the design is safe. So uh, what is applied tension? That is tension T is equal to T E plus Q. This one T E plus Q. So what is T E? T E is directly 90,000 and Q we need to find out. Let us check. So from this code book, we have the expression for Q as this. Let me rewrite the equation here. Q is equal to LV by 2 times LE into TE minus beta eta F naught BE T power 4 by 27 L, LE LV square. So that is what is given. We have to find out all the parameters in order to find it out. So let us check what is LV. So LV we can see from this diagram. So LV is this value. So total we have 160. So let us LV is equal to 160. Let, let me make it half. Let me make it half. So here minus this 160 by 2 minus this half minus this half that is 16 by 2 this is total is 16 mm plate so by 2 minus so we are assuming the fillet well as 8 mm this is assumption only minus 8 and minus this end distance that is 40 we will be getting it as 24 mm So LV is 24 mm. And what else we need to find out? Yeah, LE we need to find out. LE for this expression, again from the code book we have 1.1 T under root beta F naught by FY. So let me write it here. 1.1 T 
पॉइंट वन टी अंडर रूट बेटा एफ नॉट बाई एफ वाई सो अगेन वॉट इज थिकनेस टी इज द थिकनेस ऑफ द प्लेट इट इज गिवेन इन द क्वेश्चन एज सिक्सटीन एम एम बेटा इज सो फ्रॉम द कोल्ड बुक इट इज गिवेन एज वन फॉर प्री टेंशन बोल्ट एंड इट इज गिवेन इन द क्वेश्चन इट सेल्फ इट इज प्री टेंशन बोल्ट आर यूज और वी कैन एज्यूम इट ऑल्सो एफ नॉट इज प्रूफ स्ट्रेस विच इज जीरो पॉइंट सेवन टाइम्स एफ वाई सॉरी जीरो पॉइंट सेवन टाइम्स एफ यू बी दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट सेवन इंटू एट हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी सो यूल बी गेटिंग इट एस फाइव हंड्रेड एंड एटी and if y is yield stress that is 240 newton per mm square we have just written from the code book this value so let us substitute everything in this so sorry so some more are missing okay let us try to first find out what is le le is 1.1 into thickness is 16 under root beta is 1 into f not is the proof stress 581 by f y is 240 so we get the value as 27.38 mm which is less than the end distance which is 40 mm so we can proceed with the value 27.38 yelli we got and we need to so beta already we have written 1 Eta is eta 1.5 that is given in the code book directly. F not is the proof stress we have written here 581. B B is the width of the plate that is 140 mm. T is the thickness of the plate 16 mm. So we have remaining all. So let us try to substitute in this. So here let us substitute all the parameters to in order to find out Q. Q is equal to L V we have 24 mm. By two into L E we have twenty seven point three eight into T E we have ninety thousand ninety thousand minus beta we have one beta we have one point five F not is the proof uh, proof stress five hundred and eighty one into so beta A B E is one forty into thickness is sixteen power four. By 27 into L E is 24 into L V is 24. Sorry, L E is 27.38. Oh, sorry. Twenty-seven into twenty-seven point three eight into L V is we have twenty-four twenty-four square. So the value we will be getting this. Three one two one four point seven eight newton. So what is the uh, so we have this Q? You know we can now find out the applied tension. Applied tension. So that is T is equal to T is equal to T E plus Q. T E we have ninety thousand and Q we have this value one three one two one four point Seven eight. So the total we will be getting it as one two one two one four point seven eight newton. So that is the total applied tension. So after that we have to compare it with the tension capacity of the bolt. So let us try to find it out. Tension capacity of the bolt. So that would be given it as uh, 0.9 EFU AN by gamma EMB. So we are calculating it for bolts. So let us try uh, keep it as B. 0.9 into EFUB is we have 831. Sorry, 830 yes. A and B is the net area. So we have seen in the bolts that is 0.78 times the area pi by 4 d square by gamma M B. So when we are using so from page number 30, T 
table number 5 we have you can see partial safety factors when you are using ultimate tensile strength gamma mb is given as 1.25 so 0.9 into 8 30 into 0.78 into pi by 4 16 square sorry 20 square by 1.25 so we'll be getting the value as 1464 38.29 newton so if you compare uh, convert it into kilo newton 146.438 kilo newton so that's the ten capacity tension capacity of the bolt and this is the applied tension that is 121.214 kilo newton it is very clear that applied tension is far less than the tension capacity so here we can say tension capacity is greater than applied tension so tension capacity we got it as 146.438 kilo newton and whereas applied tension is 121.214 kilo newton so the capacity is more than the applied load so it is safe thank you